Do you know how many RPMs I can get in this big boy? Stick around to find out. A few years back, we started a project and quickly found out that the small diameter end mills we were using weren't being turned fast enough. This was resulting in poor tool life, tool breakage, and just a lackluster performance of the end mill, which created a giant pain in the ass for our machinists and our delivery. To help combat this problem, we purchased a Nakanishi iSpeed 3 control unit and a high-speed electric spindle. This specific spindle allows us to spin the tool at up to 80,000 RPMs, whereas the live tooling in the Citizens A32 maxes out at 5,000 RPMs. This system also allows our programmers to control this high-speed spindle right inside the program using a simple B code. There's also a manual option on the control that allows you to adjust your speed so you can try different things without altering your program every single time. We purchased this directly from our Citizens machine dealer and they handled the installation for us. I would recommend letting a professional do the installation for this. One, because these aren't free. It's an expensive tool, but very useful. And if you f it up, you will have to pay for it. Two, the first six pages of this manual are all wiring diagrams. I don't have time to look through six pages of wiring diagrams. Let a professional install this for you and you get off and running faster. If you have any questions about how we use this in specific applications, leave a comment down below. Also, remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos.